a few minutes ago. We told you that it was National Coupon Month. Party, I mean, parties everywhere. Oh my my gosh. neighbors have been so loud with their parties. Yes, yes, but did you know it's also National Preparedness Month? Oh, another reason to start a party. Yeah. <laughs> you think and that was a publicity deal, too? <laughs> I don't know. I Probably. think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, here with some surprisingly easy ways to get your home ready for an emergency, we want to welcome back Homes That Work founder Lisa Went here with us. Hello, Hi, Lisa. Um, I'm just kind of embarrassed to say that not a single thing that you have here, I have in my home. Well, good. Now you have something to do when you get home. Uh, yes. Wow. Just I can't wait. You're single. I would assume if you're a mother, these things definitely come to mind. Huh? I'm a mother of my dog, Henry. There you that's go. Right. Um, and that, that's all I have. So what do you say? You want to go room by room? Yep, exactly. You never know how you're going to react in an emergency. You might be like very calm or like, uh, I can't even remember my own name. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've got is some I don't have to think tips in case of emergency. Okay. Starting with the bedroom. Yeah, so starting in the bedroom, just have a little folder. You can grab any type of folder. I grabbed this one because it's plastic. It might be more waterproof. But put some emergency information in here. You could put a copy of your driver's license, maybe an insurance policy and most importantly some contacts because we're more of the speed dial society and so if you don't happen to have your phone what's what's an important what's a number do you I, number? I, I you don't could know, even call a friend I don't know yeah. my number at my desk right I don't know my, I only do you know, know anybody's my, number know without your cell phone my mom yep. is the only one really? I know yeah and that, that is it, and yep. I don't know anyone Exactly. Else's. So you could have this right in your nightstand underneath your bed. If mm -hmm. you want to kind of step it up, this is just a lockable clipboard that oh, a lot yeah. of contractors use. You can put this inside of it if you want. It has little clips behind it. But also, look at all the space that you have in here. So you could do a USB port. I actually just have another insurance card, maybe an extra key. The USB you is key because you can have all kinds of information. your information on exactly. there. That said... I would be a little nervous too if, if my USB port was sitting there for if I had a robbery or something like that and right. having all your exactly. information on it. Right. But it does lock up, so if that okay. is a concern, I can't yep. necessarily say that I would put the key too far because if you need to run and the keys are in the house and you take this out, then it's not mm -hmm. going to do any good. But yeah. um, it also has a strap, so if you want to put it over your shoulder and run out the door. Yeah. So also hmm. in your bedroom, you can slip one of these under your bed. Most people have an extra bag sitting around or just an extra backpack, especially after, after this is school. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people have a lot extra sitting around. So. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to wear that anymore. Make so, sure you have your gopher hat. That's very important. <laughs> have your hats, maybe an extra pair of shoes. Kind of depends on what you sleep in the middle of the night. So yeah. if you need to grab something. Good idea for an old pair of shoes you're going to throw out anyway. Yeah, yeah but exactly. here's the thing. If you sleep buck naked, mm. you need to put some clothes in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes Because if you are in an emergency. <laughs> this hat isn't going to do the trick. <laughs> it's not okay. And this, I don't know how much this is going to cover either. So maybe a cosmetic bag, maybe some, some prescriptions. Just all those little things that if you have to leave the house in an emergency, it's going to hold you over for a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, or at least copies of your prescription to yes. be able to take it. Okay, exactly. That, so you think every member of the family should have one of these under their bed? Yep, so yep. You have it for kids and for you. You have a pet. So if you maybe have some treats in there, maybe an extra leash, some important information, if you need to take them to the pet, the vet in an emergency, mm -hmm. just, you can have those just readily Let's available. Let's go to the kitchen. Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my ultimate favorite product. This is a like a miniature fire extinguisher. Don't replace the ones you have, but you can just get a lot of these in addition to the ones you have. Why? What this, do you like about that? This one ha will actually spray for Four times longer than a traditional fire extinguisher. Further? Uh -huh. okay. Actually, longer. Oh, it's a longer it's time more, frame, so it will cover it. Exactly. That's cool. What I love is it's compact, so you could put it in a dorm room, in your kitchen, in your bathroom. You can put it in a lot of different Why areas. Why wouldn't we get rid of our other fire extinguisher then? Well, it, it just it like kind of better. recommends on there that they sometimes some certain areas, like an apartment complex, might have certain standards that you have to oh. have this type of fire extinguisher. Okay. So this is just an addition. I, don't I also know like why. because it's just spray. So if you have limited mobility, all you to do is just press yep. on the top and it's good to go. Okay. Nice. What do we got here? And this is put more emergency instructions maybe inside. It could be a bathroom cabinet. It could be a kitchen cabinet. This one is for poisoning. It could be a cut. It could be a burn. I actually slice my hand really bad and I am get a little queasy when I see blood. Yeah. So I'm calling a neighbor. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Because you don't always remember an emergency situation. So just open the cupboard. It could be for you, your family members, maybe a babysitter or something that's readily available. Maybe even a, a reaction if you have a medical reaction. Okay. Okay. Something like that. It's and then let's move out to the garage. Yeah. Now, a lot of us will have a key inside of the garage, but it's also important to have one outside of the garage because if the power goes out and you have an electric garage door opener, how do I get in the house? Right. So just have an extra key outside. Hidden somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Now, this is just one of those little flashlights that you can 
can put on your head. And you can, if you have an extra flashlight sitting around, that's great. Most people have them in different rooms. But in an emergency, your hands aren't always readily available. So you might have a kid in one hand and bags in the other, and you're trying to balance the old. Yeah. You know, Is this one of that difficult packaging, though, that you have to, <laughs> I would say, get it out of the yeah, packaging. I would definitely take it out. <laughs> yep, hang it from a hook or maybe a nail. Yeah, but, imagine that. Yeah. But emergency, <laughs> you're like trying to get a CD I open. I open. Yeah, I have a knife sitting next to it. Uh, but it has four modes, a night vision, and it's actual, like, uh, weatherproof as well. Okay. And this uh, safe here, Yes, right? and uh, this is one of Lisa's lectures because I've come to in several houses where a, not all safes are safe. You want to make sure that it's fireproof and waterproof because in, it's in the basement and a lower level where you want it because heat rises, you want to make sure that it, if it's a flood or something. And yeah. media friendly, what do you mean by media friendly? By media friendly because a lot of people, oh, I'll just put my videos in there and I'll put you know, a flash drive. It must say that it's media friendly on it or you're just it's going to combust and, and you say you need to spend 60 bucks or more to get a good probably one probably at least yeah you okay. can get make some sure coupons it locks. Yes. make sure it locks that is number one people just shut the lid and they don't lock it otherwise you might as well just get a shoe box if it's not going to be locked lisa thank you thank yes. you thanks so much we have links to uh, get your house prepared on our website go to twincitieslive.com all right coming up your chance to win a 200 spa package